Hello, welcome to Cancer TV's Understanding Multiple Myeloma video. In this video, we will provide you with basic information on the disease and its treatment. Multiple myeloma is a cancer of the bone marrow. Bone marrow is a spongy part of the bone. Bone marrow produces blood cells, such as red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Bone marrow also produces plasma cells. Plasma cells produce antibodies or immunoglobulins, proteins that fight infections and in foreign bodies. There are five types of antibodies, IgG, IgM, IgA, IgD, and IgE. In multiple myeloma, excessive plasma cells are produced. The abnormal plasma cells produce only one type of antibody. For example, IgG multiple myeloma only produces IgG antibody. This is called monoclonal gammopathy. It is estimated that approximately 19,000 new cases are diagnosed in the United States every year and about 10,690 die of the disease. It is slightly more common in men and African Americans. There is no definite cause for multiple myeloma. Exposures to radiation, chemicals, and certain occupations have been proposed, but none of these associations have proven to be significant. Exposure to viruses has also been mentioned, but again, no definite association has been found. Myeloma patients may manifest bone pain, weakness and shortness of breath from low blood cell count. Because the antibodies that are present in myeloma are dysfunctional, infections, particularly pneumonia and kidney infections, are common. Also, the abnormal antibody proteins can deposit and damage the kidneys. And the laboratory tests may show a low red blood cell count, elevated calcium, impaired kidney function tests, abnormal proteins in the blood and urine seen as M spikes, and lesions in the bone. The physician may perform bone marrow aspiration and biopsy, where a sample of bone marrow is examined under a microscope. Here is what multiple myeloma looks like under the microscope. The new international staging system classifies myeloma into three stages. Stage 1 usually has a median survival of about 5 years, Stage 2 has a median survival of 4 years, and Stage 3 has a median survival of 2 years. Treatment of myeloma involves two aspects, treating the disease and prevention and treatment of complications of myeloma. In the past, the 5-year survival rate with conventional treatment was only about 33%. Fortunately, significant progress has been made in the understanding and treatment of multiple myeloma. Many myeloma patients are now living for years without recurrence. It is important to understand that not all multiple myeloma requires treatment immediately. Some myeloma takes a slow and indolent course for years, and observation alone is sufficient. Patients in good health may be candidates for peripheral stem cell transplant. With peripheral stem cell transplant, 40% of patients will achieve complete remission. Incomplete remission workup for myeloma does not reveal any evidence of cancer. In the past, chemotherapy drugs such as melphalan and cyclophosphamide and prednisone were the drugs used in the treatment of myeloma. But new drugs such as thalidomide, bortezomib, and lenalidomide are shown to be very effective. Chemotherapy regimens that use any of these drugs show response rates of greater than 80% and many patients are living significantly longer. Thalidomide was developed in 1944 as a tranquilizer and as an anti-nausea drug for morning sickness. The drug was withdrawn in the 60s when it was found to cause fetal abnormalities. Researchers now find thalidomide to be very effective in multiple myeloma. The main side effects of thalidomide are formation of blood clots and nerve damage. The drug also causes drowsiness and sedation. The drug should not be taken during pregnancy. The drug is a pill and is marketed as thalamid. Lenalidomide is a newer derivative of thalidomide. It is also a pill. It is usually taken 21 days out of a 28-day cycle. The side effects of the drug are low blood count and formation of blood clots. The drug also should not be taken during pregnancy. The drug is marketed under the name Revlimid. Bortezomib has a unique mechanism where it prevents breakdown of certain proteins and causes cancer cells to die. Its side effects are drop in blood counts and reversible damage to the nerves. The drug is marketed as Velcade. In multiple myeloma, prevention and treatment of complications of the disease is as important as treating the disease itself. There are drugs that stimulate bone marrow to counteract low blood count. Immediate treatment with antibiotics is necessary for infections. Myeloma patients should avoid crowded and congested areas. 
Myeloma patients are also prone to develop bone pain and fractures. They need to avoid lifting heavy objects or climb places where a fall can occur. Drugs such as zoledronic acid are given to strengthen the bones. Myeloma patients also need to drink lots of fluids to prevent dehydration, calcium buildup, and kidney damage. Thank you for visiting Cancer TV and for viewing Understanding Multiple Myeloma. For additional information, please do not hesitate to contact us at www.cancertv.net.